An alleged hate crime against an Asian American woman has the Bloomington community demanding justice. News 8's Adam Pinsker is speaking with the president of the Asian American Alliance tonight. Adam, what does she have to say? Well, Jasmine, unfortunately, she tells me that these attacks on people of Asian descent are increasing in the past few years. In this instance, the victim was getting off a Bloomington Transit bus at West 4th Street in the Beeline Trail on Wednesday. I think hate crime is a disease that, you know, this country is facing. President of the Asian American Alliance, Rupal Tanawala, says the attack on an Asian American student at IU hits her even harder because the victim is from Carmel. This is a girl who is from our hometown, but the person assumed that she is from China. That means she can just hurt her. Bloomington police charged 56-year-old Billy Davis with attempted murder. Police say as the 18-year-old victim tried to get off a transit bus, Davis struck her repeatedly in the head. Stab wounds were also discovered on her head. Indiana University Vice President for Diversity James Winbush tweeted, No one should face harassment or violence due to their background, ethnicity, or heritage. Instead, the Bloomington NIU communities are stronger because of the vast diversity of identities and perspectives that make up our campus and community culture. And Mayor John Hamilton sent out a statement that read in part, Following the brutal attack of a member of our community, I want to state categorically that here in the city of Bloomington, we deplore any form of racism and discrimination, especially hate-based violence. This behavior is not acceptable and will be dealt with accordingly. Corporate leaders, educational institute, leaders in the state house, city council, everyone has to say that. Tanawala says although Asians have been targets of hate crimes for years, these crimes are more frequent, and so is the rhetoric around them. And uh, with the uh, pandemic, there has been a narration that COVID was brought here by Chinese. Tanawala says lawmakers need to go back and strengthen Indiana's hate crimes laws, uh, hate crimes law rather that was passed a few years ago because it doesn't do enough to discourage this kind of violence. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.